So I wanted to go over the uh, RV, uh, our RV with you, so you can kind of know a little bit more about it, see some of the features, and see uh, uh, just know more about it overall. So first of all, I want to say it's it's a um, it's a Coleman Light LX series, just on the door right there, 1925 VH. Uh, VH stands for bunkhouse. There's a lot of space in there. Uh, even though there's a lot of space, it's got a lot of cargo uh, carrying capacity. Um, it is a smaller, lightweight uh, camper that will allow you know several different vehicles to tow it. Uh, SUVs, trucks. You just need to check on your tow uh, rating. But at about 3,800 pounds dry weight, which means you know the tanks are not full. Gray tank, black tank, water tanks. They're not full. Just dry weight the way it is. About 3,800 pounds. And I can tell you, most, every full-size truck should be able to tow it. And like I said, check your SUVs. They should be able to tow, uh, tow that weight. Um, so that's a little bit about it. It's, it's about uh, 24, just under 24 foot long. Um, so not too long. It's an easy tow is what it is. So um, we'll go ahead and step inside real quick. Take out the steps, just pull out. As we come in, oops. Well, as we come in, um, the you'll see the control panel here in just a minute. I'm just gonna work the awning just a little bit uh, right now, and you'll see what I'm what I'm doing here in a minute. It's gonna hit the no box, huh? Uh, yeah. Okay, so so anyway, awning comes out more. We got it. I got it kind of parked awkward right now next to our mailbox. It's already falling apart, so I don't want to do any more damage. And anyway, when it comes out, uh, there's a little flap uh, that you'll see, and right when that flap comes out, you want to stop. Um, and it's already fully extended. So uh, that's the awning. So we'll go ahead and pull that up, and then you can come inside and see what I'm what I'm doing here. All right. Inside is the control panel. Here, as you walk in, I just did the awning. We have water heater. We have water pump. We have exterior lights, which under the awning is a uh, LED light strip. And then we have the interior lights, which I just turned on right here. So, um, so that's, that's pretty much, oh, and then our different levels here. So you have your battery, you have your fresh water tank, black water tank, gray, okay. And gray too, but we don't have a gray too. So that's the control panel and that's gonna, that's all the, uh, electronics and the statuses for the different things that you gotta, uh, watch for. First thing when you come in, you see the sofa here, uh, which is nice. A lot of seating area in here, you'll see in a minute. You got the sofa. It also has a pull down with cup holders. All right, you wanna sit there and watch the TV, which we'll look at just a minute. But this sofa is also a Murphy bed, so we'll pull it down. You can see this in the pictures. I won't do it right now. But you pull this down, flattens out. These two latches right here, un undo them, and then this thing will drop down, become the base of the bed. Behind there is the mattress just straighten out it becomes a queen size bed plenty of room uh for my wife and i so i mean i'm a big dude and that that thing for me was good so um then it gets put back up there is storage underneath here where we have a blanket and a pillow for the uh dining room area which converts into a bed also we'll look at that more in a minute uh, storage here right now we have there is some hangers we have the pillows the blankets and the sheets that would go on the murphy bed um, there's still some room there same thing on this side more storage here with the power strip some more pillows so besides the storage you have under here storage there we also do include some upgraded outlets that have some usb for your for charging your devices there on both sides here we have one under here one under here so plenty of plenty of areas to charge um so i think that's good there we'll go ahead and come on this way and i will show you the uh the sink area, the kitchen area, the dual sinks, uh, propane burner, all right, which you click these on, the propane is outside, you turn on the propane, click these on, you use a, a lighter or a match to get that started. Uh, we've got the light, the, uh, the fan here, um, which there is a piece outside that you pop open so that the uh, vent hood works properly. Nice size microwave for a camper, okay, it's a standard microwave, operates like any other one. 
You got storage up here, which is gonna have your bowls, your plates, your cups, coffee cups, and a coffee maker. So everything you need there uh, for your stay. Okay. Under here is kind of the cleaning supplies. We do have um, the pans down there also, but uh, trash bags, cleaning supplies, first aid kit, um, those type deals there. And then, Come over here, we have our drawers where you have fully stocked utensils, measuring cups, spatulas, tongs, potato peelers, everything you need for your stay there. Bottle opener, champagne, uh, wine opener, all there. Here's some more, some knives. We got some um, marshmallow picks for your s'mores available there. There's your lighters, some towels, all right? That's a, that's a furnace in case you're wondering, the winter months, that's when you click on the furnace here and the heat would come out of there. We have more storage here and Gloria, my wife has set you up nice with some uh, various things here, some spices, sugar, toothpicks, you know, basic spices. Here you have your matches, some fly traps if you need them, some foil paper, and then down here, some bowls. You know, you need to uh, mix something up or put something in those. Coming back to over here, the entertainment center. Here you have the TV, which works with the outdoor antenna. You would just move this antenna to find your uh, find your uh, best spot. Do your scan when you get to where you're going. When we went to our campsite, we, we picked up like 65 channels. So um, that's that here is the entertainment center you have zone one zone two zone one is inside zone two there's speakers outside you can put both of them on at the same time it has bluetooth so you can hook up your phone listen to uh pandora or spotify whatever you want to there um ac of course gotta have ac um you know we we have the ac here we also have some fans available uh in the storage units i'll go over this in just a minute before i head over here so let me go back over here but this is the dining room table. This 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 uh, table would pop off. These legs you could put in the storage. Storage under here, storage under here. This table piece would fit right in between these posts here. And then you put the the uh, cushions down, convert them to another bed. You got two small kids. It could be there, uh, one person. Other other than that, you could put one person there. Um, right on top of that, more storage. But in here we got for you guys some games. Various games, travel versions of games, some card games, some of our favorite ones, Phase 10, Jenga there. Uh, just all kinds of different games in there. Even over here, there's uh, the outdoor version of Yahtzee and the regular Yahtzee to go. Uh, we got some spare batteries in here, just uh, some more supplies to help make your camping trip enjoyable. Okay, uh, we get to the refrigerator, which this is to me, one of the best features here, bring out those coolers and everything. This has a ton of space, again, for a camper this size. We've got a full size, uh, well, I'll say full size, but a nice size refrigerator, right? Plenty of storage for your drinks, all your food and everything. Uh, and then a separate freezer with plenty of room there. All right, this, this does run on both electric and propane. So that's a real nice feature. There is some more storage down here, another storage uh, drawer. In there we have a step stool to help get on the bunk beds here's the bunk beds nice bunk beds best thing 300 pound capacity so plenty of uh capacity to handle adults uh if needed um you know i, I can get on there and um uh, and it's gonna handle me so uh you got all your uh, cushions uh your your bedding up here everything gets washed cdc compliant through RV share, they supply those documents. We follow them to get the uh, RV cleaned up the way it needs to be cleaned up and disinfected. Um, there's some fans in here because uh, we are in Texas. So this is a godsend right here, but sometimes it needs some help because in the dead heat of day, it's still hot in Texas and this AC, uh, we definitely want it running. And so we provide some fans though, uh, so you can even cool off even more. I'm gonna let Gloria come into the restroom here. What I will say about the restroom is it is a full, it is a full restroom. We have the toilet, we have the sink, we have a shower and tub. It's all it, it's complete. So some some RVs, small RVs don't have all that. But I'll let her go in there and show you. 
So you have the towels, all you need, washcloths. And then we also have the other stuff that's on the sink for your toothbrushes and soap holder. Um, there's also some other stuff down there, the toilet paper and all that you need. And the shower. And I've been working on the, uh, I've been working on the RV today, just doing some stuff. So there's some, a little bit of water in the tub and everything. All that uh, will have to be cleaned up once, uh, once again. Uh, make it ready for the next person. But uh, I just had to uh, do some things in here today. So I was running the water, make sure everything was operational. Uh, I will say real quick, going back to the AC, good point is uh, the way this thing operates. You know, you turn it on. Uh, put on high and you want to hurry up and cool so straight down you would close these vents here all these clothes and make sure that this is open and it just it's just going to shoot uh, cold air right through there once you get it going you know you want to open up your vents you know wherever wherever you have people at so if you don't have somebody over here on the bunk side don't worry about this or don't worry about that just point them where you have people at so you're getting the max air these things are a little fragile, you know, they can pop off. Sometimes one even broke off. So it just, it just takes a little bit of effort just to pull, pull those open and get what you need to get going. I would also recommend to have one, this one main one pointed to the restroom so it can circulate some air in there as well. Yeah. The, the other thing is, uh, Ro did not mention was this, the bunks do have lights in them on each one of them so there will be lights in there you can manually turn them on and off all these lights even though when you have your interior lights on you can come through here and if you need to adjust the, the lighting in here you know if people are sleeping in the back you can turn all those off and just have this one on there's also lights in the murphy bed <clears throat> in the murphy bed when you look at the picture you'll see them back there uh so these are all you know i'll turn those off and all. I think that's it. Um, yeah. One more thing. We do also have the exit windows. Oh, yeah. The one near the Murphy bed. All you have to do is open this up. And then pull this out and pop it out. And it will. You'll be able to exit out. There's also two more. Where the Murphy. Uh, I'm sorry. Where bunk the beds. bunk beds are. There's one right there. And on top. Their exits. Uh, that's a safety feature. And another safety feature is the. Uh, we do have a, a little fire extinguisher right there. All right, so that's the inside. Uh, pretty spacious. Um, and really what you need, an easy tow, everything you need inside for your camping. Uh, we'll do a real quick walkthrough of the outside. Uh, we saw the, um, the awning. Uh, there's your speakers there. We do have storage in here. Uh, lock and key storage access through here i keep some of the towing stuff in there uh, the things you need to uh, hook up your hitch and everything is all in there extension cord um, and some basic basic tools um, over here you have your outside outlets so uh, you get to your campground yeah you want to you want to plug up some stuff and hang out outside that's where you do it Clear tire, the bumper holds the, the bumper holds the sewage line uh, that you will connect over here to dump your gray water and your black water, which are labeled here, gray and black tank. Also, the handles are black and gray. Um, you would pull the black first, dump your black, and then you dump your gray, so it kind of rinses that stuff out. Uh, or you can have us do it. Uh, there's an optional, uh, there's an option there where you can select to have us do it. And of course, at the end of your stay, uh, if you fill it up at your campsite, we can't come out there and, and dump it for you. But at the end of the stay, you can have that done. Uh, electric pulls out of here. Uh, your water connection, you, you put your water hose right here, run it. This is a cable hookup, satellite hookup, if you have that available. Okay, that's what that is. Uh, here's that vent fan for the kitchen we pop that open so let everything out and when you're done with it just close it that's simple uh if you didn't have if you weren't going to a campground with water here's your tank where you would fill up with water before you leave or really when you get close to the campsite if you can find a place uh that way you don't have to be towing around water 
that's where that would go. Here's the other access point for the same storage that we were just looking at right there. And then your stuff up front, you got your battery, two propane tanks. Just open this up, twist these on, open it up, turn on your propane tanks, and you are good to go. So that's it. Um, I think uh, one of the big things that I would say is just, uh, again, I want to emphasize, you should be able to tow this with a lot of different vehicles at 3,800 pound dry weight. Um, definitely with a pickup, I mean, it's no issues at all. Uh, easy tow, plenty of space, plenty of seeping area. So check it out. All right, thank you.